spotting of a Mexican gentleman. Not this man, this is Bill. Hey! Calito! I'm very well. For a week, one from your French as well. Logan, here we come. Here, you were here. You were here. No. 2011. No, I started in 2012. The famous vintage 19. I still have two bottles of that. Do you? You drank it all, right? You won me one. I drank it all. That's, that's your involvement, just that's laughing it. at his joke. <laughs> this is Beth. Uh, Beth, can you tell the, the people where you're from? I'm from Canada, Toronto. We have uh, an amazing uh, team of ambassadors here, but we only have one from Canada. That's just me. This is Beth. So Beth and I started, when did we start together? Five years ago? Five years ago. And uh, Struan also. I, I remember the day well. 2012, I believe it was Valentine's Eve. It was. It was. Sunday. And um, we had a particularly romantic dinner in the Mansfield, <laughs> Elgin, which is one of the most romantic destinations of the world, <laughs> especially when you've had seven drams of Glenfiddich. <laughs> what would you say has been your best memory of this week with the BA team? I'm going to say, like, yeah, every minute of every day. Every minute has been a I mean, think about <laughs> certain specific moments. I, I'm really going to think that the, um, the other night of you DJing... <laughs> And playing Robbie Robbie Doo. That was the one. It's pretty epic. Let's turn the tails here because David Alvarez is almost in tears telling these stories. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is the man behind the camera. Yeah, this is the man behind the camera. So this will be vlog number 11. We actually missed. What number? We're supposed to pull it. 11. Uh, 11. 11. Could you please repeat that? 11. 11. 11. 11. Could you please repeat that? The Rothman. Hello. The owner of the franchise. Just bought a couple of distilleries today, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs>
Ja, wenn ich nehme. Boah, das ist so. Poland, Germany. Best of friends. Oh, yes. As usual. That's it. Brazil, Spain. Friends too. Um, so, what would be one of the earliest malts you can remember drinking? Oh, Glen Pretty was the main one at one time. Definitely Glen Pretty. Yeah. And what was the. When did you stop drinking? I stopped drinking 22 years ago when I started working in the bar. So, you started 22 years ago? And that well, was I was here before that. I married 58 years ago and came in, but my wife ran the bar and I worked. It's a gilly on the river Spee. Right. And then when I retired, I started working in the bar, but I was getting too involved. People were coming in and saying, have one yourself, have one. So <laughs> I decided to give it up altogether. So uh, what advice would you have to somebody that works in the whiskey business that's trying to... Well, you can't advise them, they like their whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> a lot into their own, eh? We yeah. know a few of them. Yeah, when, I did, when I worked at McCallan, you got your three official rounds a day. The officials. So we had one at seven o'clock, one at twelve o'clock, and one at five o'clock, and as many in between as you could scourge. <laughs> and was that aged spirit, or was that no, new no, you clear had, it was eleven point one over to put the filled it in with the filled into the the barrels, you know, and the filling store. But what well, did you do at McCallan? I went through the whole lot actually. Yeah, it was a spare. I could do any job with the area. Yeah. yeah. Superb. And you've ended up pouring it into glasses for tourists now. Brilliant. Yeah. Joe, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, appreciate it, Joe. We've got to move on. Mm. Thank yeah, you. Moving on. Time for dinner. Best of health to you, Appreciate sir. it. We'll see you Cheers. Nice seeing you. Thanks yeah, a nice. lot. Yeah. Lovely little place you've got here. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We do. Made it, Ben Rennes. How tall was this? 3,000? It's a Ronnie Corbett, 2,700. You can call it 3,000 for the camera. Felt like 3,000. Dead. I feel like Gandalf. We did well, especially up till 2 o'clock last night, Drammen. I think it helped. I do believe oh, here we go. there may be a bottle Here's of the crew. Snow Phoenix up here. That's what I was told. I was also told there was jam donuts up here. That's the only reason I made it this far. At this point, there better be jam donuts in Snow Phoenix. That uh, looks promising. <laughs> Snow Phoenix on the top of Ben Rennes.